We got a lot of stuff to do, so let's not waste any damn time here. The question is simple. Can you walk across the map in GTA Online? And the answer to that is quite simple as well. Of course you can. But follow me to the planning room, won't you? We are doing things quite the same as in my previous challenge from 8 months ago, where me and my friend Dave walked a bowl of stew from one side of the map to the other. But this time, we aren't carrying anything. The challenge is, can you walk across the map without dying a single time? That is the hard hitting question right there. The rules. 1. The lobby needs to have at least 25 players before starting. 2. No running or sprinting. 3. No talking or asking for help. 4. No shooting. And the final rule that would turn this challenge from hard to oh my god what am I even fucking doing end me right now right here. No minimum. So there's no way of knowing if there's players barreling towards you at any given point. So let's just freaking dive right into this bullcrap. Bottoms up, let's go. Attempt number one. With high hopes in my heart, we started this challenge, and I shit you not, after roughly 10 steps into this challenge, great times. Attempt number two. Slightly disheartened, we began our journey. So, we went along, we started discussing our route, where do we go, do we go right through the city, it's, it's dangerous but it would save some time, do we maybe go to the west coast and venture all the way along the highway, dangerous as well since a lot of players go up and down on those streets, we didn't quite decide on a plan and decided just to wing it. First things first, we have to leave the port alive and oh my sweet Jesus Christ on the bike, what the flying fuck is there behind us. Oh shit! There's something in... There's something exploding in the docks. It's a tank! It's a tank! There is a tank and we've just made it out the dock. A tank went berserk behind us 10 minutes into our second run. And it befell upon me. The 1991 hit film Jurassic Park. Don't move, don't run. If you don't move, it will not see you. You went away, thank Christ. Go we on, went into the on, industrial on. area to take a through. shortcut to the highway. But there it was, lurking as if it was stalking us, telling us. And deep down I knew, oh God. it was not the last time we were going to see this tank. But we walked on and on, past the bridge, past the tracks, past Grove Street, quick stop for a drink. We were at the edge of downtown Los Santos on this huge baseball field, but... Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Oh my God, the tank is back. The tank is up there. The tank is up that street. Turn around. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. My god, there it is! My god! It caught our scent. We quickly Coming. walked backwards, unsure if the vile predator wanted to take us out. It was curious, it was prodding around, and it didn't know what we were doing. And to make things worse, there was another player closing in. We decided it's now or never, and as fast as our legs allowed it, strolled gently to the other side of the street. Stop! We made it to semi-safety again, and it made me think, the gods must surely favor our endeavor. We made it to the very heart of the city. After nearly an hour of walking, we made it here. So we decided to go through the parking lot, cause me and Dave knew there was something inside. A quick refreshment. Ladies and gentlemen, this moment in time, how fun and joyful that it was. To have made it so far, this moment was a mistake. What are you drinking? There's nothing in your hand. Well, we began messing around at the vending machines. We had a few drinks and a few drinks too many. And how everything would have been different if we hadn't fooled around. Because moments later, as we crossed the street right outside of the parking lot, tragedy struck. A car going 500 miles per hour mowing down both me and my dear friend Dave. Attempt number three, started out at the docks, walked just around the corner of the first warehouse and got run over by the same guy who ran us over in the city. Attempt number four, got ran over before attempt number four even began. Uh -huh. Attempt number five, luckily the man who stalked us seemed to have given up so there was another try on the way, but this attempt was not looking too oh, good man. either because, of course, out stealthy. of all things, there was a stealth attack chopper who wanted to see what the fuzz was all about. <laughs> That's it. Oh my god, it's a green alien! <laughs> Great. 
But just like with the tank, it was merely curious. But it was at this moment that we learned something about these predators. It did not attack us, it was prodding us, following us like a mosquito thirsty for blood in the middle of the night. But it couldn't decide whether to kill us or not. There is a conscience in these things. But when its curiosity leads to boredom, that's when we are in danger. It followed us to the end of the docks and decided to end our lives. Just like that. Attempt number six. Attempt number six was gonna be the one. Started out at the docks, went to Grove Street, cut straight through town, quick sprung stop. Went upwards to the mountains, quick sprung stop. Went into Blaine County, quick sprung stop. And then we decided to head towards the train tracks. But as we went on with our journey, we were greeted by the most vile predator of them all. Oh shit! Is he actually gone? He actually left! This was the moment that I really believe that Rockstar for once was on our side. Yes, it would be straightforward, a straightforward walk from here all the way to Polito Bay. So it was set and so it was done. We walked on and could smell the scent of the ocean which the wind carried over the huge mountain in front of us. But witchery befell upon us. An invisible mother launching Dave off the bridge. Ah! 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 I followed him downstream, trying to get away from the him, river. but it was not meant to be. We made it all so far, and dying like this, after three hours of walking, it was it was a horror show. Attempt number seven. So instead of directly cutting through town, it was time to switch up our strategy. We went from the docks as far west as we could go. How long will our luck last? Oh my god! Slice the slice of this leg. <laughs> I need some money, man. <laughs> it's, it, I'm now. I'm getting fucking. Oh my god, he's dropping too much on his Evans. I can't keep walking because I'm getting a fucking error message. Evans, I can't walk. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. And instead of going through hills and mountains, it was time to give the yeah, good old highway a go. You would say it's a dumb thing to do, but let's be honest, the only people on this highway are grinders. All busy doing their own thing, most of them on a timer, they don't have time to mess around with us. So surely this will be a great success. We walked on and on, quick sprung stop. We got to the bridge and then we saw, well, whatever the hell we saw. Dear God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. What's happening? Oh god! An airplane floating through the sky like a UFO Please. would. God, we no. decided to try the 1991 Jurassic Park technique again and stood still. But of course, modders are no ordinary players. Oh. They do not care what you do. And so it happened. And just like that, back to the docks. Attempt number eight. Trying the same thing again, went west, this time through the hills, went to the gas station, quick sprung break, and a mother booted the entire lobby. Another two hours wasted. It is over. I literally said to Dave at this point, it is simply, it simply cannot be done. Under the set circumstances, playing this video game on PC, it is not possible. There is no way on God's green earth a modder would not mess up your game in the time it would take for this challenge to be completed. It is not doable. The question in the video title is answered. It is simply not possible. And before we went off, we took a small break and decided <sighs> one last try, just one final try in a fresh lobby. Attempt number nine, and we were on our way. There was a fight of some sort happening in this lobby. There was a griefer who was against everyone equally in the lobby. And this, this is something that we could use to our advantage. If we stick to ourselves, make it out of the city as fast as we can, we might just make it. Now there's no way of knowing where this griefer exactly is, obviously, but the most logical place would be in right in the heart of the city, so we decided to go straight forward, as far north as we can, past every thin and every one, and leave the griefer in the entire lobby as far behind as we can. If we stick to ourselves, no one would ever notice us. 
And so we managed to escape town. We managed to go north and this time things felt different. As we entered Blaine it was a ghost town. Everyone was occupied with dealing the grief in Los Santos and even the modders were busy with them. So we made it back to the train tracks and just like that Rockstar, they, them good old boys threw us a little bone. They saw what we went through and decided to spawn a train. We grasped that opportunity by the sack and walked the living shit out of the train. We walked that shit good and cut off a good amount of time while doing it. Rockstar gave us another train and another one and just like that we arrived in Palito Bay, the final civilized frontier, before the ocean would swallow the earth. But it's not our destination because we push on a little further to go. It was time for one final sprung. So we crossed the street and headed towards the ammunition, but suddenly- Oh my god, Evan's in the sky behind us! What else? What else could it be? We came so far and we were not giving up. The only slight bit of safety out there was the ammunition. We walked as quick as physically possible to safety. <sighs> this was it. Police sirens screaming outside, explosions. It was, it was all over. We, we have failed. And all of that went through my head. We tried this for about 19 hours. 19 hours! An ear deafening silence befell upon Polito Bay. And right outside, the burnt corpse of whoever rode that machine from hell, driving us into the ammunition. Something or someone has slain the beast. And I'd like to think it was Rockstar Games. I'd like to believe that Rockstar Games used their immense power because they've seen what we have done. And so we walked on. We walked on and on and we reached the edge of the world. And all that remained for us to do is simply swim to reach the furthest point we could possibly go. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, can you walk across the map in GTA Online? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you can. But the real question is, should you? And of course, the answer is, fuck no. This was some seriously messed up shit. Well, I'm going to see you guys in 2021 for the next installment of this bullshit. Leave a like, subscribe and all that stuff. Okay, bye.